we recording? We're good. Right. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't even know what the time is. Oh shoot. I've left my phone. Oh no, my phone's there. What's the time? Right. It is 22 minutes past 12. We've had a little bit of snow here, right? So much so you can still see the pavement and everything, but it has turned a bit slushy. We're in the mountains here. So when we get a little bit of snow, um it could lead to a lot right but you know not necessarily oh, i got a hair we've had umpteen comments from parents i had harry pretending he'd had an asthma attack he's trust me he's fine okay but he pretended that he was he, he needed his asthma pump and um the nurse rang me and i said honestly it's because he got a little bit of snow and he's been told to go to school that is it that's the only reason he's fine he messaged me later on he's absolutely fine and now everything's gone crazy because parents have been told um another parent has said that the school rang them to say that if their kids want to come home they can because it must be absolutely incredibly crazily insane up there every parent is trying to call the school to find out what's going on to obviously find out if it's true because so nobody wants to say to their kid yeah you can come home and then have a phone call from the school saying your kid has just left school grounds without permission it's you know teenagers isn't it we all did it i know i certainly did but it's like oh my god what's going on at the moment so we've had a little bit of snow and there may be some snow coming more snow coming we don't know it's incredibly unpredictable where we live because we live in a valley so it's like if one part of a mile up the road gets a shed load of snow, we might not get anything. We get shed loads of snow and literally half a mile down the road has nothing. It's so bizarre here. So long story short, we're literally just waiting on things. He's just sent me a voice message now saying apparently uh, the school have said they can go home if they want. I've left a message with the school <laughs> just in case. Because I can't get hold of the school because it's so manic there at the moment. Anyway, oh my life, what a freaking afternoon. I put on my social media the other day, um, what would you, sorry, hello, I'm Victoria McLean and welcome to my channel. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Anyway, I put on my channel the other day, is there anything specific that you'd like to see from my channel? Obviously, I'm doing a few changes this year, it's going to be more DIYs and so on. And one lady said that she'd love to see my Loungefly collection. I thought, done. I will do that for you, my lovely, but I am sweating buckets because I have had to pull them out from here, there and everywhere. And I have a box, right, this is, I got these boxes for Christmas, uh, not for Christmas, it wasn't a present, I got them for so I could pack everything up for Christmas. And this was, I don't know how many of them, but there is a lot in there. Okay, there is a hell of a lot in there and it's a really heavy box. It's one of those massively heavy duty ones. But I probably need another, I'd say another two of those for my lounge fly bags. Maybe three. Yeah, possibly three because I think I don't want to put cutch them down too much. Anyway, so I'm going to show you my lounge fly collection today. But first of all, I want to show you the golden snitch wand, which I know you guys know about because I've showed you loads. But the reason why I'm showing you this is because it's now available in the UK. If you go to the link below in my description, you will be able to get it from the Harry Potter online shop for only £33. It is now available in the UK, which is absolutely astounding. Astounding. I never thought I'd see the day because I thought it was a New York exclusive. I think it was meant to be a New York exclusive until maybe it wore off sort of thing. But now it is available online for us in the UK for only £33. So go over, get the, get, click the link down below and buy the wand while you can because this wand is absolutely stunning. I love this one. It is one of my favourites. It is just to die for. But I'm going to put it back before I break it. So today I am going to be reading to you. Do you mind? I'm busy. <laughs> the bags have just decided to fall. I'm going to be reading from A Magical World and let's see today what's happening in the wizarding world. Oh, this is fitting. <laughs> Maybe not the thick part, but the snow part definitely is. 18th of January. Snow was still thick upon the ground and the greenhouse windows were covered in condensation so thick that they couldn't see out of them in herbology. 
Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Chapter 24, Rita Skeeter's Scoop. <gasps> snow day! I love snow! <laughs> such a child if you saw my tiktoks oh my god yesterday it started snowing so me and harry went outside and just went absolutely insane the fact that it was only a little bit but insane at the snow and then i woke up this morning to so many messages from people saying it's snowing it's snowing it's snowing <sighs> I love snow days. My tradition is when it snows. So I'm getting constant messages from the either the either the parents or the kids messaging saying. Oh, no, 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 no. But luckily, one of the mums is going to pick Harry up for me. But then I have to give permission, which is fair enough. And I can't get hold of the school to give permission. So I'm not sure what's going to happen. Oh my god. <laughs> What makes me laugh, right, is the UK just can't cope, okay? We have the tiniest bit of snow, right? Tiny, tiny, like tiny, tiny. And the UK can't cope. The UK cannot cope. It's just so crazy. So, anyway, this video is going to be so bloody long. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't even remember what I was saying. Oh, yeah. A day in the Wizarding World, yeah. Woo, <laughs> ta-da! So, it's perfect for a snow day. And speaking of a snow day, let's move on to the first bag. I'm going to show you the Disney ones I have first. As you guys know, I am a huge Frozen fan, a huge Elsa fan. I played Elsa as a children's entertainer for so long for charity. And I absolutely loved my job. I was a singing, performing Elsa. And I was size 12 back then, so I was much skinnier. And I also had a wonderful Anna, who was Charlotte, my friend. And she had the tiniest bloody waist that made everyone jealous the dress came right because obviously i paid for the costumes and everything the dress came and the skirt part for anna was like this and i looked thinking oh my god that is not no they've obviously got the sizes wrong she puts it on zoop. i thought you I gotta go. <laughs> anyway oh my god so funny so I did get this because obviously I was invited a couple of years ago to the very Nico birthday, the very first birthday, and it was meant to be like lounge fly themed, lounge fly Disney sort of themed, hit with a hint of Harry Potter. And so I went kind of partly kind of Elsa, partly kind of Rowena Ravenclaw, and I got this bag really cheap from I think it was on it was either very Nico or it was truffle shuffle, I can't remember. But this was the Elsa bag, it's a bit squished because it's been on my shelf. But this is such a beautiful Disney Frozen bag. There is a matching purse, however, I don't have the matching purse, but I love the inside. The inside's got Elsa, it's got loads of snowflakes. It is just beautiful on the inside. There's only three pockets, it's only a small bag. It's only a dinky one. But I really do love it. And you know I love my sparkle. I am a big sparkle fan. I can see the sparkle in the lens reflecting. So it is just insanely beautiful. And plain at the back. So if you do wear it as a rucksack, it's not going to irritate your skin. But it is just beautiful. I love this. There's some stunning Disney ones. But then there's some stunning, uh, stunning Elsa ones. And then there's some, there's some nice Elsa ones. But they're more cartoony. And even though Frozen is a cartoon, it's not cartoony cartoony you know like the 90s or something it's not that sort of cartoon style and these bags are kind of like that almost like a little with a hint of anime I'm not too keen on that personally so I really do love this one and it's so sparkly my next Disney bag or should I say my next my last Disney bag because I only have two Disney bags um lounge fly bags and I really need to change that I would love the Rapunzel one with the lace on the front oh beautiful now this is actually my favourite Disney princess of all time and one of my favourite Disney films as well. It is the Beauty and the Beast lounge fly bag with matching purse as well because if there is a matching purse I do try to get it. I do try. But I love this bag. I love how stunning this is like the stained glass window style on the bag itself. The detail is exquisite. The painting, the originality of the Beauty and the Beast from the stained glass window of the happy ending of the film. It's so beautiful. So obviously I think this is the 
this is the castle when before oh no yeah there's bell down the bottom this is the castle in the beginning then obviously it goes all dark and damp and horrible and mot and beastly then there's obviously you've got um little bell who we haven't her hasn't met the beast yet and then we have the happy ending at the back there as well so inside is really beautiful inside is very much it's three that's three main pockets and it's all beautiful roses inside look at that so you've got that pocket that pocket then you've got a middle one and then you have this back one and another pocket there as well and you have a strap as well to put it across your body i'm not keen on that though i've never been keen on wearing them like that if i was going to use this bag if i was going to use this bag i would be using it with these handles instead it's never been used and hardly any of my bags have been used so i love this and then obviously you've got the stunning beauty i am working here haven't i had enough interruptions today <laughs> the bag's just fallen over um then you've got the beautiful disney purse as well to go with that this is a lovely size one it's not too big not too small and it doesn't have a coin section in it i've never opened it before i don't think um so they were actually in a box for so long i got them i was going to do an unboxing and then it was christmas and i needed to clear out everywhere that i'd been using as storage and um, to make sure that everything was where it meant to be and then of course i found that i had these and i was like oh my god i totally forgot about these so i didn't do the unboxing for them but i love the rose detail on the inside it's so pretty but we're going to move on to the next one so now we move on to the harry potter lounge fly bags i know you're all really excited about that so the first one i'm going to show you is the one you have seen very recently is the last one i bought with my own galleons it is the monster book of monsters lounge fly bag that is now available to buy in the uk from is it geek core I think it's geek core <laughs> i'll try and put the links down below okay if i can remember obviously the wand is number one because the wand is like huge amazing thing that you can now get it in the uk you don't have to pay stupid ebay prices but this bag is gorgeous i won't cover it too much because obviously i have done it very recently and then i have the matching purse inside the bag as well if you want to see more of a detailed description and showing you of this bag then check out the link above so then we go to the next bag i bought the, the one that i bought before the monster book of monsters was the golden hogwarts bag again won't be covering this too much because i have done it before but i really do love the color of this bag now it's arrived i love it even more and i love the details of the hogwarts houses at the back as well and of course inside i also have the littlest matching purse isn't that beautiful it's so cute again never been used i don't know if i ever will i i'm a collector and i love lounge fly bags and i like to keep them in mint condition now some of these bags haven't actually been handled for a very long time this i think was my first um first gifted bag this one this was from enchanted mysteries and I remember opening this box and crying because I never thought in a million years that I would ever be gifted a lounge fly bag ever and I opened the box and there's Hedwig with the acceptance letter staring at me the emotion behind this bag is unbelievable and I still get teary thinking about the emotions I had on that video I think it might have been my first box from Enchanted Mysteries I haven't done a box for them for a while but they're actually quite established now they're not needing anybody so much however there are some exciting things coming with Enchanted Mysteries that I will be sharing with you so you must check that out on the back here you've got Hogwarts Castle as well so again as you can see it's never been used some people think I'm crazy but I am a collector I don't want to use them like a normal bag they are something that I want to keep safe and lounge fly bags they're one of the, the Harry Potter bags that are really um collectible a lot of Harry Potter collectors collect lounge fly bags and the value of them do go up depending on which bag it is because there's some bags that I really love and I can't get them, they're too pricey. They, they only sold them for so long. There's some bags that they only literally sold to a handful of people. It's very kind of, I'm not an expert, 
on Loungefly and I'll definitely say I'm not an expert on Loungefly. I couldn't tell you when they were released. Some of them I could obviously because they're only recent. I could tell you where I bought them but I can't tell you much about other ones. I'm not that much of a... I, I don't know as much as I'd like. Maybe when I'm not concentrating on my masters or my kids ringing me constantly every five minutes then maybe I will look into more detail. But I like the fact that I get to share this collection with you. So then you've got this one that was released by the Warner Brothers Studios last Christmas as a exclusive to the tour. I think it might have been available in New York as well. Um, it is a scented bag, if you can believe it, which is crazy. It smells of pine. It's insane. So the inside of it does smell of pine. And it's just mental how they managed to actually get it to do that. As you can see, it has never been used. It is still very much full of its original packaging. And it is just beautiful as well. I love the snow detail on it. Part of me wishes it was blue though, but then that's just me. <laughs> i got to try and be careful I don't like block myself in putting bags from one side of the room to the other because the door's there. <laughs> and the box of bags that I haven't opened yet. So, this bag is a mystery. This bag showed up on my door one day in a box to me, Victoria McLean, to my home address, not my PA box, and I have no idea who sent it. Nobody has owned up to it. It just arrived. I reached out to some of the companies that I work with um, because there's no invoice or anything in it but I reached out to some of the companies I work with and I was asking them are you aware of this bag did you send it nobody could tell me where it came from not one person so this Hedwig bag is a complete mystery absolute mystery to me no idea where it's come from now I had a bag sent uh, given to me for Christmas from my friend Jordan, it was a Hedwig bag, it was a pin bag, but it was a Loungefly bag. I don't know where it is. I don't know if it is in the box in front of me. I don't know. So I'm going to keep a kind of uh, a little lookout for that because I need to put it on display because Jordan, bless him, was so naughty to give me that bag, but it was also incredibly sweet. Now this bag was so popular when it came out Diagon Alley that everybody wanted it. I think one of the reasons was the sparkle, but it was also how beautifully colorful Diagon Alley is. And so prominent you see the Weasley Wizard Weasel store. And of course, Gringotts Bank with the dragon atop of the bank as well. So this bag is beautiful, however it did come with some flaws and a lot of people found that out afterwards. I did use the bag, I was naughty, I used the bag and unfortunately the more I used it the more the sequins came off. So here you have a patch with no sequins which was so sad and my manager Natalie she had the same bag she actually sent hers back because the sequins were falling off so much so I stopped using my bag and I kept it on the shelf out of the way so no more sequins would be lost but it is such a shame that that happened to such a beautiful bag now I'm pretty sure that I got sent this by Truffle Shuffle whom I love it is the cutest bag in the world. It's a new flip bag. It's so cute. So you got somewhere, somewhere fluffy to put all your uh, your shiny objects. How cute is he? He's so cute. I love him so much. He's just. I love his little dangly feet. <laughs> He's got little dangly feet. <laughs> I am such a child. Oh my god. Right, and inside should yes it's packaging but there's also a little matching purse how cute is that but what i don't understand is that bit goes up right but there's nothing there <laughs> there's no like pocket or anything it's just a flap so i'm not quite sure what that's meant to um to be um, but this is obviously fantastic be somewhere to find them you do have a coin section and you've got some little gold coins there as well and the pattern on the inside of the bag and the purse is all gold coins too so i love that i don't think oh no tell the tell light i have used it once um i think harry used it once and um, he used it when we went to the warner brothers studios 
so he had the uh, delightful um, experience of using the Niffler bag for the first time so it's so cute I love him so much <laughs> this was one of my first bags was this my first bag from Enchanted Mysteries no I think this was my first bag from Enchanted Mysteries it's the limited edition Quidditch World Cup bag I'm, I'm, just, I'm just like literally like this now thinking was it was it this one? I can't remember. I honestly can't remember. But I had this from Enchanted Mysteries as well. It is absolutely beautiful. I have used it. I used it for the world premiere of Fantastic Beasts of Secrets of Dumbledore. And I wanted to have it so I could tie these up and carry it like this. Or I could use it as a rucksack. So I got these beautiful ribbons from the um, indoor market by us in Nice. And, uh, and I use them then to tie the back of the straps up if I wanted them out of the way because I wanted to be able to have the option of holding it like this as well because I needed a bag big enough for me to be able to put my camera equipment in and also walk the red carpet as well because we did walk the red carpet. It was crazy. But there we are. What I love about this is this is all stitched as well so it makes it extra special. So I probably never use it again. It's completely fine underneath but I do like the fact that I used it for the um, for Fantastic Beasts. So and now I, I say to you, I don't like anime. I'm not a fan. Not, I'm nothing against anime, but I'm not too keen on the way that the Harry Potter figures are treat are, are, are like anime figures for this bag. However, I did have to. No, I didn't pay for this, did I? Where did I get this from? I think I got this from Savvy. Savvy or Verinico, one of the two, I got it sent to me, I didn't pay for it, but this is absolutely beautiful, and I do have the matching purse as well, which is actually in the other room, full of all my things, so I'm not going to show you it on camera, um, maybe I'll show you in what's in my bag one day, but this is a beautiful bag, I did have the handheld version um, of this bag, which was beautiful, so it was like, um, it was this sort of style, but it was funny because it was like pulled in at the sides. It was really odd. So it was really hard to get anything in and out of. Maria visited me last year, my friend Maria York, and she absolutely fell in love with it. And so I was like, I said, go on. I said, you can take it. Because as much as I love having the full collection, it's not something I'd ever use. It was lovely, but I think it was more kind of, I prefer to have this one, if I'm honest, and the purse. So Maria took it, it would get far more use out of Maria and she would also love it and cherish it as well. So she had it. Another bag I actually received, I think this was from either Truffle Shuffle or Zavi. This is the Luna Love Good bag. Or oh, did I buy this? <laughs> I can't remember. I'm literally looking at the ceiling. Why? Because there's nothing written there. I'm not supposed to help me, is it? Um, but I don't know how I got this. I can't remember. I think I might have bought it, but I'm not 100% sure. I know a lot of these bags I have been gifted, but I can't remember exactly by whom or which ones. So this one, though, is beautiful. I love the colour. I think I might have bought it because I think Natalie started me on this, you naughty girl. Um, she was the one that was like, oh my god, look at this Luna Lovegood bag. Um, so obviously I love the Luna Lovegood reference at the back with the Spectre Specs as well. And obviously you've got all these beautiful colours of Luna's kind of costume, her skirt uh, on here. This is just a key ring I had from the Platform 9 and 3 quarter shop that I thought would just be perfect for this bag. So last bag now, before we get into the box, I think, I'm looking around thinking, are we sure now? Are we 100% sure? I don't know. Um, is the Hogwarts Castle bag. This is one of my favourites. I absolutely love this bag. It does come, oh, oh, that might be in there actually. I'm sure I've got the other version like this of this bag, but it might be in the box so we will have a look <laughs> this is the first as you can tell this is the first time that they're all being put together um so I, I will be counting them as i as i finish after i finish to see exactly how many bags i have but this is a beautiful bag i've only used this a handful of times it's still in mint condition 
obviously because I do really love my bags if I've used them I wipe them down with normal baby wipes afterwards because it really helps keep the bags nourished and clean so yeah so that's that one there is also a purse that matches but I'm not sure if it's in here or in the other bag because I have no it's in the other one I have used that purse for so long until the one I use now okay so let's get on right so let's open this gigantic box I will put it down I promise uh, oh god the camera's moving now there's so many bags in here but there is so many bags it is unbelievable so I'm being really careful um oh my god okay so my first ever Loungefly bag, I didn't even know who Loungefly was. I didn't even know what Loungefly was. And I only got it because I loved the bag and it was on sale for 24 quid. <laughs> so it was like, that's great. It was from her universe, the same time as I bought my Bo Batten costume. I absolutely loved it. Now it is crushed a little bit, but it's not the type of bag that will be damaged by something like that because you could easily pad it back out again. But these were the watercolour Loungefly bags. Um, it's quite a few years ago now when I was size 12 uh, or 14 whatever it was um, but this was the first large five black, I, black bag I ever bought I can't even talk today and of course you've got the Ravenclaw um, almost like watercolour uh, hat at the back there with like a leather look um, lounge fly pattern there as well with Harry Potter written on it I used this, ba this bag for so long this was my bag but you could get so much in it. It's only plain on the inside. There's nothing really overextended, overexcited, or overextended about it. There's two straps because I'm not. I think it's. I think it's that one. I think that one belongs to my bag over there. That's the strap for it. So I keep that with it. But that's that's literally it. It was nothing special about these bags they didn't really do anything but i really loved the whole ravenclaw pattern on the front and for 24 quid i mean god it was a, an amazing amount of money to spend on a bag i know maria is still looking out for this bag so if you are selling one let me know because maria still wants to get hers i don't think they're worth much money i really don't think they're worth much money because even though that it's a, i think for me it's more value because it was the first bag i ever had and that's why for me it's a really special bag but they're not they're not brilliantly made they're not very valuable and they are not really over eccentric for lounge fly they're just a really lovely handbag so i bought this bag to go shopping go shopping go to new york for and i took it with me and i never used it it was just so pointless why did i but i i don't get me wrong i love it it's really cute but I, I just think i went to all that trouble to get it and then i never used it took it all the way to new york with me and never used it it's the kowalski bakery lounge fly bag how cute is that with niffler with with the niffler where's the niffler with the little niffler there in the side in the window you've got newt scamander coming out of the bakery with some of his yummies and then you've got all these lovely bakery pieces around here as well it's a really kind of special bag now you can see the meaning behind kowalski's bakery and obviously from the last film as well it makes kowalski's bakery even though we love jacob so much it's it makes it even more special so i do love this bag but i have never ever ever used it just taking it with me to to new york and i never used it and of course i have the kowalski bakery a matching purse as well with da -da -da, it's a coin purse and you've got stitched on the back there kowalski's bakery and then obviously inside then has all the kowalski writing and everything for kowalski's bakery but i love how the front is just like a, a, a zoomed in version and you can see the little nifflet just there as well it's such a beautiful purse i really like it such a beautiful bag but i'm not sure if i'll ever use it maybe if a miracle happens and the next fantastic beast film is created is made then i don't know maybe i will use the bag so my first ever lounge fly clutch was this one and when i saw it it was like you know when you see a bag and you will literally sell your soul <laughs> to have that bag because you're looking at it and it's like oh my god i have to i don't care i don't care sell my children i don't care i have to have that bag 
it was one of those bags that I just had to have. Okay. This is the Ronald Weasley Howler bag by Loungefly. Okay. By Loungefly. By Loungefly. It's by Loungefly. It's beautiful. It is absolutely to die for. And I love if you forget this if you forget what the what the letter contains, right? There's the letter right there to tell you. <laughs> so you can read it to yourself. Ronald Weasley, how dare you steal that car? I am absolutely disgusted. Your father is our facing an inquiry at work and it's entirely your fault. If you put another two out of line, we'll bring you straight home. Oh and Ginny dear, congratulations on making Gryffindor. Your father and I are so proud. You know, if you ever forget it, it's there to But it's very simple inside. It's just got Hogwarts. It's got it's, it's Hogwarts, the, the symbol, and it's got a little owl floating round, uh, flying round. But it does have, obviously, a strap as well, so you can put it across your body. But it is one of my favourite clutch bags ever. And I just love the quality of it. It is so beautifully made. It, you can't go wrong with these bags. They are beautiful. The clutch bags are always brilliant quality. Honestly, I'm going to have fun putting all this stuff back in the box because I can't remember which way they go. I'm going to have to buy more boxes. These boxes will stay in the Harry Potter room though because I don't want to damage any of these. But the things that I can kind of Lego and stuff like that, as, as in loose Lego, can go in my shed because I just, yeah, I can't risk anything happening to these bags. They are everything to me. I have a couple of clutches, uh, lounge fly clutches. This was my last lounge fly clutch I bought. And it was, I've got to be honest, they've done loads of lovely collections on the Harry Potter website over the last six months. This Diagon Alley one was my favourite. Not only because of the colour, but because of how beautiful the items were that they created. And they didn't just create one or two items. They created an entire range from tops, jersey tops, to pillows, to bags, to cups, to notepads, to everything. And I absolutely loved everything about it. Now, I did love the lounge fly shoulder bag, rucksack. However, I was more in love with the lamp, the um, Diagon Alley clutch. I absolutely love this clutch bag. It is just stunning. The detail on here, I love this. And the fact that you've got a little window, a little window, a little shop window. I mean, come on now, it's adorable. There is a strap as well, so you can wear it across your body. Obviously, we have the all-important Harry Potter at the front there, at the back as well, showing that it is an official, lo lo official lounge fly bag. But it is just one of my favourites. I've used this bag a few times because it is such a lovely bag to use. I love the handle. I love the window detail. I love the colour. They did such a brilliant job with this collection, and I really, really loved it. Now... Everybody loves a bag that uh, you can wear or you can use and you get asked, where did you get that bag from? Where's that bag from? Where's that bag from? Where's, where did you get that? Where'd you? Oh, I love your bag. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. You know, everybody loves those sort of bags. This bag is the bag that happens with, it happens with every single time I use it. This was sent to me by Very Nico. It was a Very Nico exclusive for oh, a good few months. And then obviously it got, it got made exclusive to other shops then that sold it on. But this is the bag that I always get chased after for. This is the bag. It is insane. I literally, every single time I use this bag, I can guarantee you somebody will ask me about it, ask me where I got it, or, or they'll compliment me on my bag. This is the Hogwarts pin bag, pin display bag. It was the first one of its kind, I think, produced by Loungefly. 
because Loungefly is actually pop in a box, I think. So pop vinyls is actually Loungefly. So it's quite cool that that's the case. So of course Loungefly then, pop vinyls started releasing pin badges and pin badges then would be obviously you could have, it was all like connected and I had no idea that that's who produced Loungefly. But this is the bag. So what you can do is you can put all your pins that you love, I wouldn't just in case they fall off, on here, this is covered in holes, this is your first pin, it's a little Dementor, all across here you can have the pins that you want to display, there's a little um, like a pocket inside where you can stick them all at the back of them into and then close up the bag and there you have however you want to display it, whatever house you want to display, if you want to display I don't know a, a character or a creature or anything you can display it on here and it is like a book because you've got the spine of a book. So this is very similar, this is the same style as the Monster Book of Monsters book which I did show you or I did talk about in the first video when I did the unboxing of that. The only thing I don't like about this bag or this style bag, and I did mention this in the video, is it's incredibly hard to get in and out of. That's the only thing, I don't like that. I don't like the fact that you can't get in and out of it. And, the sad thing is, is this bag actually, I don't know if you can see it there, it actually ripped on the inside all across here. I don't know how. I don't know if it maybe the stitching came undone or the glue came undone. And Very Nico, by this point though, Very Nico had stopped selling it so they couldn't send me a new one. And obviously I'd had it for free. Um, I did get a hooked um, needle to try and repair it. So I did repair it up until that point, but I could not get it any further in. So I did try and fix it. But as you can see, it's still in perfect condition other than that little rip at the back. But this is such a beautiful bag and the one bag out of all of these I get the most comments about. We're talking about clutch bags. <laughs> I think this clutch bag is the one bag I think it was the fastest I'd ever put anything in a basket. I think I actually chased Monica down because she was holding my basket while I was filming. <laughs> bless her, she, it weighed a ton, um, and I saw this bag and it was like, Ugh, it's got to be done, it's got to be done, so this was what I bought from the New York Harry Potter shop, it is a Honeydukes sweet lounge fly bag, I absolutely love this, like love this, like really love this, I've never used it, obviously the label's still on it, I've never ever ever used it, one day I will because it is a cross body bag, this is actually tucked into the bag, um, but it is just the detail on it is just amazing, I freaking love it, I keep looking at it and thinking how beautiful it is, I love, this is stitched on the front, so it's really beautiful, this is actually raised here and then the Honeydukes part is actually stitched on, it's so freaking beautiful, or oh, is it stitched on, no it's not stitched on, it's not stitched on, it's my eyes, I'm getting my eyes tested on the 3rd of February, I can't wait, I'm literally like, this can't see a bloody thing, but yeah, I'm getting my eyes tested, now I, because I felt that and thought, that doesn't feel stitched, but no, this is separate, but this is raised, but I still love it, I don't care. <laughs> It's such a good bag, I love it so much, I really do, and I love the bow detail with the teal on reverse, it's just so pretty, I just love it, it's so pretty, I love it, so yeah, so that's probably one of my favourite ones. This, I think, was gifted, and I can't remember whom by, I'm so sorry, some of these bags I've had for quite a few years, um, and I know that I've been gifted quite a few of them, but I cannot remember which ones I've been gifted. So this was the Diagon Alley bag. This one I thought was meant to match the other one, but it doesn't. This one had a rucksack, but I didn't have the rucksack. I wasn't keen on the rucksack. I liked the way this was stitched on, but the rucksack seemed a little bit less wow factor, if you know what I mean. So or should I say the backpack. So I wasn't too keen on it, but I do love this. This was my bag for quite some time. I really love this. And you've got some star and cloud detail there. And then obviously the, all the Harry Potter, Harry Potter lounge fly detail on the side. It's quite plain inside. It's got the detail of um, Hedwig and brooms and things on the detail. Then you've got three main pockets there. There is a crossbody, but I cannot remember where I have put the crossbody bit. 
Right, so I'm going to pop, this isn't the right one, I'm going to pop it in there anyway, because I don't know which bag that is meant to go with. So I do really like that one, I never would have had it otherwise, because anything I've been sent, loungefly wise, I am just over the moon, because it's a loungefly bag. Loungefly bags are so expensive, but I do love the fact that a lot of companies now, I haven't finished just before you kind of disappear, I've still got a few, and I think that's the one Jordan gave me, yes Jordan, the bag's there! Um, I put it away with all the other ones so yeah it's safe they are really expensive however I do love the fact that there's companies out there now that are doing using things like Klarna and Clearpay and so on so you can pay via installments and that's what with the bags I've bought that is a lot of what I've done I have paid via installments because I can't afford it you know I'm, I, 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 there's no way they're so expensive however these bloody buggers keep bringing them out don't they and making us spend more money so it's like because I cannot say no to a lounge flight back. It's really hard, okay? <sighs> anyway, so this one, I've got to be honest, I'm not that fussed on. I, it's, it's, I'm quite shocked actually, but I will tell you why. It's a lounge flight bag, I'm not quite fussed on it. I got this from, I think it was Xavi or Very Nico, and I love, 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 love. The Luna Lovegood pattern. I love the Luna Lovegood pattern. It's beautiful. I love how so cute she looks in all her little styles and stuff. But what lets this bag down are the handles. The handles are so thin. They're so thin. They're lovely, but they're so thin. And I just feel that you need to have a bag that's, let me see, like, um, where's the other one? like these handles like these would work they're solid you can hold them they feel comfortable they feel like they're not going to break these feel like you put too much in too much in this bag and then just not going to last they're just going to fray they're going to rip and i just feel i i don't like that but they are soft you could probably tuck them in because you do also have a chained handle as well to go across your body so other than that, I'm, yeah, I love the style of the bag, but I don't like the handles. That's the only thing that lets me down with this bag. But other than that, it is really, really beautiful. So Jordan, 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 you are such a sweetheart. Jordan was so naughty. Obviously, as you know, I did a meet and greet with my VAs in October last year, and it was just the most amazing experience of my life. And I had presents. I was not expecting anything, okay? I had earrings. I had little moon calves. I had chocolate. I had so much. And I also had this beautiful Hedwig loungefly bag from my friend Jordan. It's a crossbody bag. It is a pin bag. So you can put your pins, like the one I showed you earlier, inside i'll take the packaging out so you can see it you've already got a little harry pop final harry pin up there waiting for you to add your own pins and it is just the most adorable bag ever and what i really loved was the detail on the bag itself this was beautiful it really blew me away so on the zip you have a Harry Potter bronze, like brass, sim a brass logo, and then a stunning solid golden snitch on the zip as well. So that was really impressive. And then inside, it shows their Harry Potter pop vinyls inside the symbol. So it's just such a lovely, lovely bag and such an incredible gift. You were so naughty to give this to me but it was such an amazing gift to be given. So thank you so much. I really, really love it. My favorite part is the zip part. I love it. And the little pin badge up there of Harry as a pop vinyl. So you've got the matching bag that goes with that, that other bag. Where is it now? <laughs> Literally, that is off you think. There it is. Okay, so you've got, no, yes, no, no, that's not it. Oh my God. <laughs> No. Hi, Harry. Hello. I'm, I'm just filming. I'll be out in a minute, okay? Um, I'm going to say hi. You can't come in. The, the door's barricaded. Damn it. Sorry. What? I'm not allowed to give you by the way. Okay. Hello. Hi, Harry. Hello. Sorry. 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 H
Because I'm showing them my lounge fly bags. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah, I've got quite a few. Oh, Lord, you have three. I know, I thought three, and then I found more like 23 plus. Okay, so I've got this bag here, which I actually think is the thing. I am not saying about this bag, and I think it's that one. Oh my god, seriously, I just need to, maybe I should write like a little index of everything I've got. Um, so anyway, this was my bag for so long. That's why Hedwig doesn't look as white as she used to. But I love this bag. I really love this bag. If this is said that one, it's not the one I thought it was. But I love the detail on this bag. I actually thought this was the bag for that. It is. That's the bag for that, isn't it? Let's check the packaging, the, the, the padding. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Talk about yourselves. No, it is this, right, yeah. That's what I thought. I didn't like the other one of that. Yeah, this is the, the, the bag for this one. Oh my God. Yeah, I know, right, I know. I know, I can hear you screaming at me through the camera. I know, yeah. So, <laughs> so we've got this one that I absolutely love. As I said, this was my bag for so long. I loved this bag. But I was so worried that it was going to get damaged because I used it all the time. And obviously with me being in college and so on, it's just, I also needed a bag that was big enough for my um, my laptop. And so I got a different bag instead for my laptop. But I also have the matching purse, which it is almost like a guarantee now in it because it's there. So yeah, I got the matching purse as well, which I just freaking love. I love this. Oh my God, what's that from? Is that from, this must have been the purse I took to New York. So I got the Metro card there. Oh my god, yeah, that's the that's that's my New York one. Oh my god, that's crazy. I'll put that back in. <laughs> We're going to Paris soon. Um, I tell you something, it's absolutely insane. We're going to. I've got Manchester and York this weekend. Next month, I'm off to Edinburgh for Museum Context. In March, I'm off to London for my birthday. In April, I'm off to London for Maria's birthday. In May, me and Monica are going to Paris it's insane it's absolutely insane it's just crazy i've got so much going on that i really do need to like vlog it and stuff but it's really difficult because my laptop isn't big enough to hold as much film as i do take so i need to figure out a way to do it it's, it's just mental it's absolutely mental so i need to get monica basically to look at it for me and see how i can adjust it but that is the bag that goes with the purse that goes with this i love it i love this bag but it's just not big enough and then i think think <laughs> this is the last lounge fly bag i think i'm not too sure um this is one of my favorite clutches ever 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 purely because of the fact that it is a magazine cover it's the quibbler how cool is that i love it so much it's just such a brilliant fun happy cheerful bag if you're in a bad mood if you're feeling down just use this bag and you will feel so much brighter it's such an amazing lounge fly bag when i saw this was coming out it was a must i could not not get it it was the perfect lounge fly bag ever the perfect clutch and of course it comes with a strap that goes across the body as well i love it this detailing is just beautiful it's just so amazing i love this bag so that is it let me know in the comments below what did you think of my collection and what do you think well what what was your favorite bag out of all of them do you have any of these bags i'd love for you to tell me until next time take care i love you all and i'll speak to you very very soon
check out more of my content, take a look at this video right here or this video right here. Don't forget to like and subscribe.